What's up guys, Charlie here. Morning run guys. So I'm just I just woke up and it's early, it's about like seven, about seven o'clock, close to seven. I'm making a run. I'm gonna see if I get some stuff to cook today. I think it's something different. So I'm gonna try to get some probably potatoes and stuff if there's any. Uh, but usually I make I try to make an early morning run. I feel like I'm in a movie. Like I like I said in my last video, I I basically have what I want. Everything I need, I just need to find this basic stuff to have something different. Because I'm my my fear right now. Not, not really a fear, but I'm just feeling like a, a lockdown, a complete lockdown of the city is coming. Because New York already did it, so I'm, I won't be surprised if it happens to us. You know, it's a line there, guys. Yeah, so there's a line there, which is surprising. So I said I wasn't gonna wait, but the line is not, they're going pretty quick. Quite a number of people going at a time, so I decided to wait. It's all good. So easy wheezy, it wasn't bad. There's lots of stuff in there. As a matter of fact, there's everything in there. I didn't there's nothing that I didn't couldn't find. Well, except my yeast for some reason. I couldn't find yeast in there. I don't know. I think I was just looking at the wrong in the wrong spot, but everything else the store is is available. There's not much people in there. Um I think it was just a matter of they were controlling so that the the older people go in first and shop. And then they let they let the younger people go in after. That's what it was really about. Uh, when I came out, there was no line outside. Um, everybody's just shopping like normal inside, and everything is good to go. No, all I need now is a nice cup of coffee. So I just came from the coffee shop, got my little mocha on going, and it's pretty surreal. It's pretty. I mean, not in a bad way. It's it's um, it's amazing to see. Um, lifestyle change in in the neighborhoods um, where I live, kind of in mid downtown. When I shop here, I it's hard to say. There's a little bit of difference in the sense of how people shop, but people are not hoarding. I and not in a big way, you know. It, it's crazy. Um, I guess it's because of the, the, the age group and the type of people who live down here that they are customer shopping in small. I, I was surprised in the supermarket to see how little people had in their cart. I was walking around, people wasn't hoarding, and I'm just looking here right now on the side of the street. There's cases of water, they're standing out there at the gas station. Lots of water, like I'm always saying. Yeah, but it's it's a it's a bit different. This is going to be a new way of living for some people. People are going to have to live like this where, you know, when you go to the store, you're going to have to, if you're in a line, you're going to have to stand a few feet away from people, you know, because these diseases are going to get worse as time goes on. Uh, we know they always come back new and improve, you know, stronger, worse, you know what I mean? Sicknesses that come every year or every couple of years come in a different and they manifest in a different way People have to start living a different lifestyle Yeah, so I'm home. I'm gonna cook a soup today for some I know why I just woke up this morning wanting to wanting to have a, a soup So that's why I went out shopping for my potatoes and meat. I want a, I want a beef soup 